Member for Burnaby North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. November is National Adoption Awareness Month, so today I'd like to honour my parents. I wasn't even old enough to go to school when they sat me down to tell me my story. I remember them describing how they went to the local orphanage to adopt a baby. It was during the post-war baby boom, so they had lots to choose from. They described how they decided it would be me, the girl baby, they would bring home with them. Imagine my surprise later in life when I discovered that my parents were fairly unique in the belief that girl girls were just as good as boys. But it was their unwavering conviction that I could grow up to be anything I wanted to be that set me on a path that led me here today, speaking to you from my seat in the BC Legislature. I wish they were still alive to witness the success of their parenting skills. Mr. Speaker, adoption is sometimes called a soft stigma. It comes from the notion that adopted children are unwanted children. But I was always secure in the knowledge that I was wanted and cherished. Both my parents came from large extended families, and never in my life have I felt less than fully accepted and loved by them. In fact, I know most of my cousins have long forgotten that I'm the adopted one. It certainly isn't documented on the family tree, and my son, my stepson that is, is also recorded there, and his wife is identified by her Chinese name. So, whether you were raised by birth parents, adoptive parents, step-parents, same-sex parents, foster parents, or any other kind of parent, here's to the families that armor us with the protection of their love and wisdom and send us out to make our way in the world. This statement has been authorized by my grandchildren. Thank you. 